Mariana Trench, also called Mariana's Trench, deep sea trench in the floor of the western North Pacific Ocean, the deepest such trench known on Earth, located mostly east as well as south of the Mariana Islands. The Mariana Trench lies in the west of the Pacific Ocean, south of Japan. Its depth varies along its 1580 mile length but the deepest point confirmed so far, known as Challenger Deep, reaches a depth of 10,984 meters. To put that in context, you could submerge Mount Everest and the summit would still be 2 kilometers underwater. Its depth is roughly the same distance that a commercial airliner cruises it above the ground. Investigations by the Vernad Sky Institute of Geochemistry in the 1950s recorded a maximum depth of 11,034 meters but this has never been verified. In fact, nobody knows for sure how deep the deepest part of the trench is, as no comprehensive survey has ever been conducted. In many ways we know more about the surface of our moon than we do the extreme depths of our oceans. More people have walked on the moon than have reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench, more on which later. How was the Mariana Trench formed? The trench is the result of two tectonic plates colliding and one subducting under the other. The Pacific Plate is being pushed underneath the Philippine Sea Plate at a rate of 2 cm annually in the south and 6 cm annually in the north. Sometimes ocean trenches are gradually filled with muddy sediment from rivers but as the Mariana Trench is far from any coastline it has remained relatively empty and maintains its depth. It also has dense rock which weighs down the tectonic plates. What is at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? At the bottom of the Mariana Trench the pressure exceeds 1000 atmospheres, which is enough to crush all but the most robust submersibles. It would kill an unprotected human instantly. The temperature is between 1 and 4 degrees Celsius. Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard said of his dive in 1960 that the bottom was a waste of snuff-colored ooze. Surprisingly, given these hostile conditions, there is life at the bottom. Picard saw a flat fish around a foot long on his descent, noting that the monster of steel that was surviving enormous pressures had eyes despite the perpetual darkness of its habitat. Since then many species have been observed including tiny organisms living in the seabed, large single-celled amoebas measuring more than 10 cm across, sadly, what can also be found at the bottom is rubbish. Scientists have found high levels of toxic pollutants in the area and plastic bags have been found on the seabed. A new shrimp-like species found in the trench was discovered to have ingested microplastics and was given the name Eurythenes plasticus to highlight the problem. There have even been proposals to dump nuclear waste in the trench, which were thankfully not carried through. And thanks for watching till the end. If you like these kind of videos then please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for many more interesting topics.